Hello everybody, it's Beard Boy OG here, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Hardcore Survival Let's Play. In the last episode, we got to build this magnificent frog-tastical nether portal. We have the frog nether portal, which we needed this for quartz. We need quartz to build a sugarcane farm. So today, I'm going to show you the footage of the building of the sugarcane farm. It was supposed to be an episode and OBS decided to be OBS. So, ouch. <laughs> yeah. And as well, today we are going to be going on a, a mining adventure. Why? Well, I really haven't done that here in this series so far, haven't I? Because I've got most of my diamonds, which I do admit I have a lot of diamonds. As you see here, we have 44 diamonds. We don't need diamonds, but we kind of need more gold than this, especially if we ever want netherite. That's not a good amount of gold to have in the slightest, but we also need iron. If I'm correct, I am out of iron. Completely bone dry. And coal would be appreciated. And, you know, all the other ores will be fine with that. But now it's time to show how I built the sugarcane farm. favor could you consider subscribing it would help me out graciously if you could press that red button down below and consider liking the video because liking always helps now now that you've got to see how we built this magnificent beast i'll explain what i did i built with deep slate slab or deep slate slabs that's not a slab deep slate bricks i think this is a really cool building block that i don't see too much use in building materials on youtube and i mixed it with jungle wood i am pretty sure i'm one of the few youtubers that actually did this and i tried to make it look like a little kind of castle thing i think it looks good and if i ever want to expand this farm in the future it is very easy this is a very easy farm to build the creator of this farm design for the most part by the most part he didn't use these his was all stone brick but the actual form and how it works was built by Jay Wisp. I will have him in the link in the description below. But this works pretty well. How much do we got so far? Okay, that's that's pretty good actually. So 
Now it is mining time. Okay, time to find a cave. Okay, folks, we have found ourselves a little bit of a cave. I have went coal mining a little bit, so we have some more coal just in case I run out of the food. And I'm seeing some copper. I'm not really going to pick that up, I don't think. But I do see iron to start off with, and I see a baddie. Uh-oh. Oh, I was trying to jump out of that. Have I ever mentioned I'm not good at the game called The Craft, but we're going to pick up our iron. We're going to try to get this goal started. If there's anything that we can find, which we do have a mine shaft, which is cool. The thing that I want the most is one of those massive iron veins because that alone could help us reach our goal. There's a skelly. So we're going to head up here. We're going to make this our little hidey hole. And I'm going to make myself a shield because I am known for being quite bad at this game. But before we can do that, we need to make ourselves a furnace, throw our coal in and our iron and i can go and get started on this this shouldn't take too long okay we now have our shield available on us so we can properly fight to that skelly who is down there somewhere i do not know exactly where but with using the shield we cannot use our torches in the offhand so we got to be a little bit more careful while going through here and I'm already seeing some more iron, which is delightful. Very delightful. Iron, iron, I run, I run. You gotta love the I run. You gotta love mine shafts and also hate him for some reason. Say if you can guess by why that is blocked. But you gotta love them because they expose the ore to you. So you get a lot more ore than you normally would just regularly mining, I think. So this to me is just pretty dang good. So, yeah, ouch. Come on, make yourself a little stairway. Creeper, creeper, creeper. No, sir, I don't want your explosive deals. I have an explosive enough personality already. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. No, no, sir. I don't want your exploding cookies. They might have an explosive taste to them, but I don't want them. Oh, no, wrong thing. Oh my, oh my Lord. Are you done? I swear if there's like another one just hiding out in the blue, I might, I might need a change of trousers. I'm saying trousers. I already know that my British audience, if any, just got annoyed with that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to keep looking around. We have a lot of iron in here. The only thing is... Okay, that spider I can deal with. It's the cave spiders I hate with a passion. Like, I still struggle with these spiders, but I'm not as bad with them as I am with cave spiders. Uh oh. Run. Oh, I hate cave spiders so much. Oh, okay, folks. We officially have hit over a stack of iron. And now we have some gold, which is good, which is good. We're now at that level where we're going to get a lot more gold spawning, which is good. We do need a lot of it for what we want to do in the future if we want some good armor. So, let's go and try to find some more. Okay, folks, we have hit deep slate level, which means things are gonna get a little bit harder to mine as they're gonna take a little bit longer because the deep slate is a little bit tougher. Ooh, and we got a good gold vein in this one. Oh, boy. Where are we on gold? So we're at 11 gold. We're over a stack still on iron i do see the iron strip there so we'll come back to that but i see more iron here as well i'm really enjoying this mining trips for the most part if 
you're able to get a good cave and you're able to just somewhat pay attention without paying attention if you know what i mean you're able to get a great caving experience and it can be almost calming if you're in a regular let's play survival world if you're in hardcore you gotta be extra cautious where are you going what you're doing making sure you avoid green guys those guys scare me <laughs> if there is one thing that could end this series it's gonna be one of them they they could be the death of us very easily but even in hardcore if you're able to pay attention which is mainly the game you need to pay attention to everything that is going on and i'm going to be honest half of my deaths that i've done in hardcore and a lot of my troubles have basically been my fault where i'm not paying attention if you're paying attention you should do great in hardcore but that's the first thing you need to pay attention and i'm not that kind of guy that pays attention too well i have adhd folks it's it's not in my dna but I'm trying my best. <laughs> Looks like we have a zombie villager waiting for us down there. Before we go and say hi. Oh, that's a good spot for some iron. Oh, that's great. Anything else? This is kind of like the old caves, if you know what I mean. The old Minecraft 1.17 and below. Where they're very, very small. But I'll take this. This is this is the fun that I came here for, folks. This is the fun. Oh no. Oh no. It's a fills a killer. It's a fills a killer. Oh boy, we need you dead first. I'm fine with regular zombies, but these guys are just awful. Also, if you've ever dropped your armor before, do not ever let those these little guys get your armor. Because, oh my, they can one-shot you if you're in hard mode with iron. A lot of people think I'm crazy, but I have been one-shotted way too many times, and I dropped my armor. I died once. And then just the game's like, okay, activate super hard difficulty, and drove me past insanity. Uh, yeah, I lost everything like four separate times doing that, so <laughs> do not let your armor fall at all once if you're around a baby zombie. Those guys, they become too powerful because their hitbox is just so inconsistent. Ooh, come on! Gold. I love gold. I love gold. So much gold! There we go. We're up to 36. Still two sacks on the other items. Let's head down here. Let's greet the zombie with a hello. The nice northwest, uh, northwestern welcome. A knife in his throat. I don't know where I was going with that. I'm going to be completely honest. Where do we have? Come on. Give me something good. I can sense something good around the corner. That's not something good. That is lava. Okay, let's, oh, that's not how you make planks. Bam. Now we have more torches, which we do need desperately if we're going to continue. I want as much stuff as possible, so we're going to be here a while. Like I said, more iron. Let's go. Ooh, who's going to win? I got money on you, sir. Let's see. Uh, I'm the champion of sports betting. I am the real one. I I don't know what I'm doing. I, I'm just too gloating. I'm gloating. And once you start to gloat, you get everything to your head. And once you get things into your head, you get cocky. And if you get cocky, you die. So I'm going to stop. Okay, folks, we finally found a diamond in this adventure which I won't be mad at at all. So really quickly, we'll pick those up. Since we have iron there for iron representation, 
Uh, I didn't pick up my crafting table. Oh boy, now I've made two crafting tables. Oh, oh geez, Rick. Oh, oh geez. We, for representation, we'll make that and then let's do that. How about, how about that? Yeah, representation for the thumbnail. We make one more? No, we cannot. Okay. So, can I place you there? There we go. Now we can do some representation for the thumbnail, folks. Yes, I am this desperate for a thumbnail. I will always be this desperate for a thumbnail. No, I'm just joking. I'm, I'm not always this desperate. Usually I make my... If you want to know a little behind the scenes uh, action for me as a YouTuber, I usually go and make my thumbnails in a different world. Mainly because I think it's better to do that than in your main world, especially if you died and you weren't able to get the actual thumbnail. So, usually I do it outside, but if I can, I will do it. I, I will do it. Let's go and put a hole there. There we go. So, let me get my thumbnail really quick. Okay, now that the thumbnail is over, let's see how many diamonds we got. I'm assuming just one, because that's usually the, the scenario. Okay, one diamond's better than none, and plus, we already have 44, so it's not really like we actually are in desperate need. It's just a nice gesture if the game gave me some diamondes. But I'm fine. I won't... <laughs> I won't, I won't cry. I won't cry over it. I, I won't cry. Oh boy, lots of iron over here. Oh my. Any more iron? Any more of that delectable, uh, delectable, delectable iron. My lord, am I illiterate? Oh my. Okay, anything interesting? We have one more torch. Nothing. I'm gonna try to get out of here. Yes, I did say to get that much. I, I do that all the time and my brain's like, no, no, we're not. No, we're gonna get a we're gonna get a smart amount of iron, a smart amount of gold. And we're gonna get out of here because hardcore is not about just staying here and getting these crazy challenges. The challenge is to survive. And I can guarantee you I've almost died three times being down here so i'm finding my way out okay folks this is the result of about an hour and a half of mining which for that amount of time we were really lucky we got two stacks of iron a little bit over a diamond which isn't bad we weren't really going for diamonds anyway 13 redstone dust i didn't really pick it up too much we already have a bunch 45 raw gold which is definitely an upgrade and he did 20 coal I do need to upgrade our upgrade the coal situation. Maybe doing a live stream in the future would be grateful. Grateful. P potential. You know, you know the words better than I do. <laughs> so that is about an hour and a half, two hours worth of mining. Some people will see that as a disaster. I will see it as a, I already have 45 diamonds. I didn't really need to get more anyway. For me, it was successful. So, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, consider subscribing, because we're on the goal to 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year, and your subscription would help with that goal. Consider liking the video, because liking always helps, and comment down below. Tons of iron. Yeah, t tons of iron, because there is a ton of iron in my house now. We're definitely have upgraded our iron situation and our gold situation. I'll see you guys in the next episode as it is going to be a big project. Folks, we're going to be gilding. Gilding. We are going to be building a volcano. Goodbye.